Now that we are four decades after the fact, people tend to forget that, that the space race of the 1960s was a literal race, a challenge between two superpowers of radically different agendas and ideologies. And early on, America was losing. With the launch of the first satellite, Sputnik, in October of 1957, Americans were treated with one Russian victory after another, and Russia soared with national pride. And how that pride must have been bruised, when in 1969, in front of the country and the entire world, Russia was soundly beaten. And that is exactly what the Russians admit that we did. It is quite possible that an aggressor nation that dominates space will then dominate the world. We just can't let that happen. If the Cold War was to be fought in space, the Russians let it be known early on that they were the country to beat. They had the first orbiting satellite in Sputnik, the first man in space, the first woman in space, the first spacewalk, the first space station. They were even planning their own shot for the moon itself, and except for but a single flaw in their rocket design, they may very well have beaten us. By any measure, the Russians knew exactly what they were doing in space. Versus the Americans, they had everything to lose if we made it to the moon first. If NASA had tried so much as to fake a grain of dust, Russia would have been the last country to reach forward, and they would have smeared our good name from one hemisphere to the other. The Russians should have had every reason to claim that these shots were fake, for number one, there aren't any stars in these pictures. That's one of the most famous complaints about the conspiracy theories. But the Russians never cried fake, they never cried foul, for they know it's exactly what you should expect in outer space shots. They don't know. They've been there, but find that even if they knew, they knew absolutely positive that these shots were absolutely real, they still had every reason to claim that they were fake, for anti-American propaganda had been running at full power for years. In this war of misinformation, the Soviets pulled no punches, claiming that it was communist science that invented the television, the radio, electricity in general, and that they were the technological geniuses of the entire 20th century. Therefore, claiming that the moon landing was faked by America should have been the next logical step. But they didn't. In the face of lethal competition and the pride of their country, they admit that we succeeded. Now the conspiracy naysayers would have us believe tales of bribery and corruption and buying the Russians off in exchange for their silence. These tales arise more from desperation than from anything else, and in the end it comes down to who are you going to believe. The Russians were in space, and they say we were there. The conspiracy people were not. Once again, whom do you believe? Well, for man, one giant leap for mankind.